So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. This fight will be in the light heavyweight division. Plenty of power, but they've still got those quick hands too. And you can see who has the power advantage. And the man he'll be facing, it's Roy Jones Jr. And they do have a reach advantage here. <laughs> I'll always go for reach every time. I'm... From Romania, in their last fight, they won by knockout. It's Roy Jones Jr. from the United States of America. In their last fight, they got knocked out. Let's see if they can bounce back in this one. Just take note, take note. Look at the reach. Look how much they're giving away in this fight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Romania. Wearing the black trunks with red trim. Roy Jones Jr. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. It's a privilege and an honor to be here. I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. No doubt about it. This was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. They ring the bell and here we go. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Another scoring shot there. Punch, counter punch. That punch lands. Multiple world titles are on the line. A chance to really become a legend here and make some real history. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Throws the jab and doesn't score. 
and he scores with the counter. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. There's nothing quite like the chemistry between a fighter and their coach, and this partnership is working great. We're trying to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. Every time they throw a shot, they get counted. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Look at the hand speed and footwork between these two elite level middleweights. This fighter has a killer instinct. Just look at this KO percentage. Over 70% of their fights have ended early. There's a counter shot. They threw the hook, it didn't land. There's a counter shot. We're at the halfway point and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Got him there. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This boxer is a real hook specialist. Their opponent has got to watch out for that. Not so tense anymore, trying to loosen things up. I like it. He threw a punch and just got countered. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot. Bad as boxing judging can be sometimes. And there's the bell to start the round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. That counter shot lands. Fighter, one of the top five in the world, no doubt about it. So he's going to drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest. To... Stumbling around in potholes. Trying to measure his punches now. Bean Days now needs to steady the pace. What a nightmare scenario. So what a massive upset this would be. And the referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. I need to see that again.
They're back on their feet, but how long will they stay there? Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in that once. He knows what shot works and where to land it. Then try and do it again. He's just not got to get trigger happy. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. At some point, the corner has to say you're done. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knock. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'd come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a... An upset of the year, perhaps, right before our eyes. Oh, and that changes everything! And down they go! I don't know, I gotta take another look at that. You're right, Todd! What a shot! He's back on his feet, but his opponent is licking his chops right now. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. That counter punch caught him clean. Halfway through the round, and here was the defense. That impact. Let's see that again in slow motion. That's lights out right there. So the referee says he can continue. He's got to waste time. Get step behind him. Will the referee step in? And down goes Jones Jr. I need to see that again. Some amazing boxing right there. A shot from the gods took him out. That is, Todd, did you see the shot? That's not a knockout, that's an assassination. What a shot. 